When we know the laws and the penalties, guy Chip didn't even know he couldn't race. I'm not saying I don't like police. I'm not saying that. I'm saying I'm just scared of them. Nothing wrong with that. Sometimes we want to call them too. Somebody broke into my house once. It's a good time to call them, but I don't know. Uh -uh. uh -uh. <laughs> house is too nice. It ain't a real nice house, but they never believe I lived it. Be, oh, he's still here. <laughs> oh my God. Open and shut case, Johnson. I saw this once before when I was a rookie. Apparently this nigger broke in and hung up pictures of his family everywhere. Well, let's sprinkle some crack on him and get out of here. Oh, you know, that's that, that's that whole brutality thing. It's, see, that's common knowledge now. There was a time when only minorities really knew about that. I'm not gonna say white people didn't believe us, but you were a little skeptical. You were a little skeptical. I mean, I don't blame you. And then Newsweek printed it and he knew it was true. And then the Newsweek white people were like, oh my God. <laughs> Honey, did you see this? Apparently the police have been beating up Negroes like hotcakes. It's in the May issue. I mean, really, how could you know though? How could anyone else know? You know. I mean, you, maybe you should have seen something a little suspicious. Don't you think it was like a little suspicious? Just a little suspicious? Every dead black person the police find has crack sprinkled on them. I mean, come on, man. <laughs> come on, man. Who gets shot and sprinkles crack on themselves? Nobody would do that. <laughs> Bam! Oh, oh. <laughs> I don't want to leave no mysteries. I'm a paranoid guy, you know, that's how I am. I am, I'd be scared to call 911 for anything, even if it's like a fire or anything. Cause they take those phone calls. I see the shows, they tape them, and then they play them on television. That's fucked up. Now I'll say anything if I'm scared, that shit is private, you know what I mean? What if I get killed? They start playing that 911 tape on the news, I'm dead, I can't explain myself to my buddies and shit. I'll be watching the news. We have Reg Chapman on the scene. Reg, what's going on out there? Oh, it takes a guy on the scene in a minute. Hi, Bob. <laughs> Hi, yes, we just got hold of a copy of Dave Chappelle's Frantic. 911 emergency call. Remember, viewers, some of this language is disturbing. Hello, emergency. Help! Help, motherfucker, they're coming to get me! Just calm down, sir, where are you? Oh, oh, I shit on myself. I can't stop crying. They play that shit 30, 40 times a day. All my buddies will be at my funeral looking at me. You know Dave shit on himself right before the end. I saw it on the news. Died crying like a bitch. <laughs> I'll be dead, I can't defend myself. That's not a nice thing to do. That's not a nice thing to do. I mean, it's a 911 tape. How do they expect you to sound? Of course you're gonna be scared. It's an emergency. There's nobody calls 911 cool and relaxed. That and that shit would sound ridiculous. Hello, emergency. Hi. Hey, 911, how are you? Yeah. Uh, look, there's a group of hooded white men gathering outside of my house. And it looks like they mean business. Get out here, nigger. I gotta go. <laughs> you guys try and hurry.